Hey everybody, welcome back. Well, can't see me. Hold on, let me try to adjust without knocking you guys over. Sabrina has my thingy. Let's see. A little better. Hold on. There we go. There we go. That's better. Okay. Welcome, guys. If Welcome back. My head's still kind of cut off, huh? There we go. Okay. Are we even... Yeah, okay, we're on. Okay, welcome back if you're an oldie but a goodie. And welcome if you're new and you just clicked on this channel because you thought, why not? <laughs> why not? Um, I have my Bar it's Barbie Friday. The movie came out today. I have not seen it. I'll probably see it on Tuesday. $5 movie day at the theaters. You know how that goes. Anyways. Sabrina's at the movie theater now. Mama's a little nervous. It's her first time going to the movies without Mama and without an adult supervision. Her friend called her and asked if she wanted to go, and I gave in. So, um, thank you all for being patient since I don't really have a recording schedule right now. You know, I have good days and bad days. Mental, my, you know, how, um, mental health is, is hard. And I have good days and bad days, and, um, today was a good day. And I do have some videos I do want to put up for you guys, which I will get up. But, um, our school here in the South starts the first week of August. So, it's back to school shopping around here. Excuse me. And, um, Sabrina, we went, we got her backpack. We went to Ross. That's where we got my, our Barbie shirts. I got this one. She got one. Um, these are crop tops. That's why I got my flannel tied around my waist. Got some little just black capri stretch pants on that's be comfortable right um so we've got some um we went to ross got her backpack she was looking for she likes to get the hood her hoodies from ross the problem is that she's not sure really what the dress code what she can wear and can't wear and so she didn't really didn't get anything she did get the barbie shirt and uh we went over to target and then we got just the supplies we know for sure, like pens, pencils, erasers, that kind of stuff. Um, she wants mechanical pencils, so we got some mechanical pencils, yada, yada. And then um, I went to Goodwill today because I wanted to see, this is the time of year, I don't know about in your area that you're in, but if, at least in our area, since we're, um, if we're considered, like, you know, we're in the country area of Tennessee, we're not in a big city. City. We're in the suburbs of a big city. And so we have, um, basically we have three middle schools, three high schools, and a bunch of elementary schools. But at the end of every school year, people turn in like their school shirts. So I've been slowly going to Goodwill to look to find her uh, school shirts that people have turned in for her new school. Because we know for sure she can wear those. And I wanted it to be that, hey, why don't you wear a school shirt? We'll get five. You'll have one for each day of the week. Easy peasy. Get up, get dressed, go. Get on the bus and go. She didn't want to do that. But she does have two already. And then I found it. I went to Goodwill. I told him I have to see if there, I could find any more. She, you never know. I even have one I found for myself. So, um, did that today. So I was there. Got a few things I thought I would share with you all. So I do have two bags. Too big. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. I haven't done a Goodwill haul in a while. Thought I would share with you. Sorry for the crinkling if you have headphones on. First of all, Sabrina is hard to shop for. She's at that age. She's 11. If you guys don't know her, let me scoot this. I still feel like my head's cut off a little bit. That's a little better. Uh, she's 11. If you're not, it says that I'm I'm recording, but okay. Um, she's 11. And she's at that age where, you know, she doesn't like this, she doesn't like that, blah, 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 blah. And um, jeans, she hates jeans, but she thinks those are going to be the only pants she's going to be allowed to wear. And I normally didn't want to buy jeans without her there, but I did. Because, per the fact that I was able to find her, and I don't know if these are still the jeans that, you know, everybody wear, wants to wear. But I found her some... Abercrombie and Fitch. Is it Fitch? Yeah, it's Fitch jeans. 
Um, and ours at our Goodwill, they're seven, they're six ninety nine for jeans. So I got her a pair of these ones. Ugh. Okay, they're kind of a darker denim, so you guys can see. And they've got a these are perfect stretch is what they're called. It has a four short, so I don't know. They might not be long enough. I think they'd be long enough on her. I don't know. So I found those ones. You guys, don't skip out. I, I've said this before. If you're not a thrifter, go at least go find your jeans at the thrift stores because I'm going to tell you right now, there's always a ton of jeans. Well, I shouldn't say always. She may, and she may totally hate all of these that I've picked out. <laughs> these ones are Banana Republic. Banana Republic's still in business. Let me know in the comments below. They're still in business. So I found her a pair of Banana Republic. I thought these were cute. Um, they are really nice. So, again, they're more of a, a lighter denim. Long legs. Kind of a, a boot cut. I think they're boot cut. doesn't say. It just says Banana Republic. Made in Turkey. 100% cotton. Wow. You don't find jeans nowadays that are 100% cotton. These got to be... I wish they could put, put, like, the year they were made. But I love the, the front here, the way the buttons are. Um, I just hope they fit her. I hope she likes them. Because she's still wearing a size 16 um, old navy pair of jeans that she likes. And, oh, I feel like... Okay, that's those ones. These ones she will probably hate. But I had to get them. And... They are made well jeans. 93% cotton, 6% polyester, 1% elastine. And, um, do this washing process and negative indigo. Okay, that's about the color. Alright, so, um, they're made well. And, again, they're just a pair of Again, kind of a little lighter denim, but see, they got their rips, and she's not big on the rips and the jeans, so she may hate these 100%, and she won't be able to wear them to school. But, I mean, I think she can wear them if she's got, like, a pair of tights underneath them. But we'll see. They just had a really nice, worn-in look. Oh, sorry, guys. I told you it's a crop top. <laughs> and then again, these she probably will hate, <laughs> because they, again, they have the um, ripping them, but they're old navy boot cut. I could have, I could have sworn I got her another pair. Maybe they're over here. I could have sworn. Maybe I put them back and didn't pick them. Oh, maybe I think they were too big. Um, she likes um Wild Fable from Target, and she likes the like, and she likes old navy jeans. Other than that, she doesn't like old navy. So, they do have. See, the legs are really long, and that's what she needs are those long legs. Um, it has a rip in the jean, in the knee. She'll probably hate it. This is a, a definitely more of a, na a natural rip. But, yeah, so I got her four pair of jeans. If anything, we can put a patch, too, which she'll probably be like, no, on them. I got her those. And I found this as I was getting ready to leave. I found this for me. Um... A white sundress and it's old navy it's kind of got the gingham like the gingham look to it and you won't be able to see the whole thing but it's got the i don't know if it's supposed to be off the shoulder but it just oh no does it have a stain like i said it was as i was leaving i saw this and i could just see my eyes getting tricked in the light for being from Old Navy, okay, no, it doesn't have a stain. That's okay. Because if it did, I would just dye it, right? It has an underskirt. It's an extra large. I haven't tried it on, but this look in, it looks like it'll fit okay. And so, any kind of little peasant little sundress, cute. So I found that one. Poor me. I tell my mom if she don't like the pants. 
can always be her friend. Um, her best friend might like them. We'll see. And I found this, um, Dockers Women's Cotton Squirt. Black Cotton Squirt. This. Nothing special. It's just a cotton squirt. Then I found these. I thought this was cute. I found her some t-shirts. Found her this Care Bear one. It's got all the little, it's got the bears there on the bottom. And then over here too. I think it might have been a Target shirt. But they're kind of, they're just so, it's got like a cute little vintage look to them. I think it's Target. I said it feels like, it, to me it looks like it would be a Target brand. I found this little shirt for me. Um, I got so many t-shirts. I'm kind of getting tired of my t-shirts. But I don't go anywhere for like blouses. So I went ahead and got, I saw this as I was getting ready again. Getting ready to leave, walking down the aisles. It's like this tie-dye t-shirt. But the sleeves had this poof. And had the little detail on the sleeve. So I thought that was cute. I was thinking with a pair of shorts. I do have some white. This is Crown and Ivy. Crown and Ivy, is that? That's Walmart, right? I'm pretty sure it is. Um, our Wal our Goodwill is a lot of Walmart just because it's the biggest store here in town. <laughs> That's where most people shop, basically. Our mall is very teeny tiny. There's nothing really in our mall. Um, it's one of those empty malls. So I got this. So it's, it's a t-shirt, but it's got a little bit more detail on it. I thought that was cute. I think Crown and Ivy is Walmart. I like the tie-dye feel to it. What can I say? And then here's, I don't want to show this to you, um, this is the, the shirt for her school. I just don't want to show just because it does have the name, you know, the name on it. So that's the shirt for her school. The colors are blue and gold. And then I found this one, Queen, the band Queen. It's kind of a vintage feel to it. She has a, uh, uh, oh, hi, Buzzy. My bubba's, my puppies have been sick. We went to the vet. $800, guys, for a vet bill. Yeah. So both of them. It's mostly their medicines they had to get. But that's what found this queen t-shirt. Again, I think it's like a, I want to say this is a Target and another Target one. Oh, no, it's Lucky. Okay, Lucky brand. That's Lucky Brand. And then this one I feel is Target. Nope, Old Navy. I'm betting a thousand. Oh, let's fix my shirt. <laughs> so, found this one. It's got that, the rainbows on it. She may be like, now, but it's cute. It's cute. So, that's clothes. Yes, that's what I found in clothes. So we'll go here to books. I like Robert Munch. I think I talked to you guys about him before. He's one of my favorite kid authors. And I found this book, Show and Tell, by Robert Munch. He's just really, he's a funny author. Aaron's Hair. It's another one by Robert Munch. I found, I found two Robert Munch books. And someday maybe I'll have a bit, I'll have grandchildren. I don't know why I'm obsessed with buying Nancy Drew books. And the cool thing about this one is it um had the library pocket card in there. So that's cool. And that is really cool. So um Yeah. So this one is the Scarlet Macaw Scandal number eight. I don't know. If this is part of like the original original but I know the the cover is not and I know because I have the red the yellow ones I just am obsessed okay so this is different this is Nancy Drew girl detective books it's written by the same person but this this has eight books with without a trace is the first one so 
these were printed, looks like 2000, first print, 2004. Anyways, so I got that one. Like I said, I have an obsession with Nancy Drew. One of these days I'll read the books. And I told Sabrina that she needed to get a, since she's starting middle school and she's going to have to keep track of like her lessons and things like that, that she needed to get a student planner. And this one, well, it's got, it says 2003. It didn't have actual like a calendar calendar so she could use it. It didn't, you know, she could use it for any year. And it's a never been used and it is a Tweety Bird. And then in the side there, I'm just doing a video. And then inside, she can go ahead and write down her subjects and her reports and things. And um, we're going to keep, try to get her to keep track of that one. Really good. And this, it says the cover just really got me in the feel of the book. Um, I was, you know me, I like to go through the books. And this one's called Biscuits, Butter, and Blessings. Farm Fresh Devotions of Hope and Comfort. So anyways, I'll show you the front. One second, guys. Mom's got to say something. Yes, Mom. Really tall for me. I can sit down by the door there. It's wet. I'll do it in a minute. So here's the cover. It's got the green gingham and the brown. Um... This was normally twelve ninety nine by Day Springs um, Christian Life Spiritual Growth Book. And for example, it says whether you're sitting on your porch swing or snuggled up in an easy chair, these down home devotions will bring a smile to your face and a tear to your eye while you enjoy a buttery biscuit with sweet strawberry jam. Refresh your soul with seat, sweet serving of inspiration, the perfect way to start your day. And I'll show you the inside. Here we got the really pretty flowers, and just it just really got to me. Uh, this one says, "In the family register of glory, the small and the great are written with the same pen." And it talks about uh, whether you weep or groan. Say, say this to him: The Lord speaks. Thou behold what I have built. I will break down, and that which I have planted, I will pick up. And the means, the whole land, Jeremiah 45, 4, I, I don't know all this stuff. And it talks about, um, and then it gives more information. I do have my Bible, and I keep saying one of these things. It does have recipes in here, too. For example, here's a cheese grits, <laughs> true grits, more grits, fish grits, and collards. Life is good where grits are swallowed. <laughs> I just thought it was a sweet little book. Sips and gossip. If you're, if you ran like your mouth, you'd be in good shape. Worry about your character. I thought this was just uh, the book. Like I said, be yourself because an original is worth more than a copy. It's got a recipe for strawberry muffins. I didn't realize it even had recipes in it. I just saw the book and it just. I just thought, it it worked. Yeah, I thought it was something that would be nice to have to look through, you know, during the day or in the morning. Okay, now for toys. I think we talked about it before. I was a Girl Scout leader for many years. My Cassie was a Girl Scout. And there was this junior Girl Scout bear. And he does his legs. He is a bendy bear. So, and I'm... Yeah, hat sewed on, so I was like, yeah. So he's a junior. He's got his, uh, no, he's a cadet. Junior would be green. He's a cadet. <laughs> and then I found this. Looking at my time, making sure we're good. I found this. It's a Disney's Animator's Collection. And it's Rapunzel's little tower. This was just so cute. I... I thought it'd be cute sitting on a bookshelf. And if you have like the little Polly Pocket little animator dolls, is what it basically is for. But it's her tower and it's so sweet. It was 99 cents. And then I rescued some Barbies. They had a ton. I did not get them all. So for Barbie Friday, 
I will show you. I basically got the Made to Move Barbies. Um, so I got this one here. And she's got it. She's just made in her wrist and her arms move. So we got her. Forget that she has no pants on. We got this one here. And she's completely made to move legs, arms, every oh, except for her ankles. Arms, hand. She moves. And this one here is just her legs that are made to move. So I got this one. None of these have, well, I guess this would be considered the Millicent mold. And then this one, I really like this one. I don't know who she is, but I really like her. Maybe it's her hair. So I found this one too. And then one of the Ken dolls. Oops. Let me get the Ken doll. And then some. Oh, come on, guys. There we go. Oh, I should have got close on huh? Um, so. Come on. There. <laughs> some highlights. Sorry, Sabrina has my thing. I don't know where she put it. Okay. My life has little joggers. Uh, this is. I'll come back. Let's see. It does it one more time, right? <laughs> Um, our generation little skirt. And it has, oh no, this is my life has. Because here's the little shirt. I thought it was our generation. Here's the little shirt. And the little headband. And, uh, these are probably not going to keep for my doll. I'm probably going to put it, sell them on whatnot. And then I did get a bag of Barbie clothes. And I think we'll, oh, let's see. Can we get through it? I don't know. I'm sure it's nothing nothing major just some uh, and we got some okay so we got a skirt I'm assuming it's a skirt and I don't know if I'm going to get through be able to get through all of this with y'all there's another little shirt hmm. another little shirt little hoodie some of these I don't even think are Barbie clothes I think they're just a bunch of doll clothes that they threw in here this little guy so yeah I think this is just a bunch of a little purse anyways guys so that's my goodwill haul like subscribe I hope you're all doing well and as I always say be kind to yourself be kind to others and I'll see you on the flip side bye everybody